Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to get started with the Syncfusion view grid. In general, we all know that we use the data grid component to visualize the data in a table form. So, in this video, I will explain you how to set up a view environment on my machine and add a view data grid to it. I will also show you how to customize the table data in view grid and enable few of its important features like paging, sorting, filtering, and grouping. Now, let me start with the application creation process. As a first step, I need to set up a view environment on my machine and for that, I need to install the view CLI package. In the meantime, make sure that you have installed the latest node version in your system. Now, I will open the Visual Studio code and then open the new terminal window and type the command npm install view CLI and press enter. This command will install all the required view package globally in my machine. Now I can start to use the view commands in the terminal. So I'll start to create a new view project now using the view create command. In the terminal window, type the command view create view grid and press enter. Here view grid is the app name. This will prompt me to pick a preset now. Here I will choose the default setup. Now the project has been created and ready to use. Therefore, I will show you the step by step process for adding a Syncfusion view data grid to it. To start using the data grid, first I need to install the view grid package in my application using the command npm install Syncfusion ej2 view grids. This will install the grid dependencies in my application. You can also ensure it by checking the AdSyncFusion folder inside the node models. Once the package has been included, I will show you how to add the grid code in my application. Now I will open the app.view file under the source folder. I will remove the default codes added in template, script and style section for better clarity. Then I will import the view grid plugin under the script section before I start to define the grid code. Adding the code view.use helps us to use the view grid plugin in the application. And then I will import the material theme file under the style section to render the view grid. Now in the template section, I will include the EJS grid tag. Adding this simple tag will add a grid to your application but you will not able to visualize the grid on a browser page with no data being passed to it. So I'm going to show you how to add data to the view grid to see its basic look and functionality. Now to bind data to the view grid within the data method of script section, I will create a JSON object with three variables namely order ID, customer ID and price and then assign it to the local data variable. Now I will add more objects to this array. I will then assign it to the data source property of the grid tag under the template section. Now let me run this sample by using the command npm run serve. Here, you can visualize the view grid displaying the given records in a browser. You can see here the field name provided in the JSON collection is displayed as the column header of the view grid. Now I will show you how to customize the columns of the view grid. To do so, I will define the e-columns directive inside the grid tag under the template section. This e-columns directive has several column specific options to define and customize them which I will cover in my upcoming video. Now I will show you the basic options one by one. Here inside eColumns directive, I will include eColumns subdirective and then include field property to map the JSON field. And then I will include error text property and set its value as order ID. The value that you assign to this error text property will be displayed as the title for the grid columns. Now see here, the column header has been changed. 
then i will add the text align property and set its value as right you can see here the value is aligned to the right side of the column in the same way i will define the other column fields and then for the price column i will include the format property and set its value as c2 to apply the currency format now let me save this sample and show you the output in browser you can see the currency format is applied for the values in the price column now let's see how to enable some of the important features of the view grid i will start with the paging feature imagine you have a huge number of records displayed on your grid and you would like to view limited records per page this is possible by enabling the paging feature in the view grid to start using the paging feature i need to import the page model from the ej2 view grid package and then inject it into the provide section to customize the page settings in the view grid and then i will add the allow paging property and set its value as true in the grid code now i'm going to define the page settings inside the data method under the script section in the page settings object there are many more options available for now i will show you the example using the page size property now i will specify the page size value as 5 inside the page setting object and then i will assign it to the grid tag inside the template section now let's check the output on the browser you can see now the grid displays five records for each page now i will show you how to sort the records in the view grid by enabling the sorting feature in the grid you can sort the records in either ascending or descending order to start using the sorting feature i need to import the sort model from ej2 view grid package and then i will inject it into the provide section of script now i will add the allow sorting property and set its value as true in the grid code and show you the output in the browser you can see now the view grid records are sorted in either ascending or descending order when i click on the column headers there are some cases where you may need filter and view grid records based on some criteria this is possible by enabling the filtering feature in the view grid to start using the filtering feature i need to import the filter model from the ej2 view grids package and inject it into the provide section under scripts now i will add the allow filtering property and set its value as true in the grid code and show you the output in the browser here i will type the text value based on that grid display the matching records if you need to group records based on a grid column to add hierarchical view then you need to enable the grouping feature in the view grid to start using the grouping feature i need to import the group model from the ej2 view grid package and inject it into the provide section and then i will add the allow grouping property and set its value of true in the grid code and show you the output in the browser you can see here when i drag the column header and drop it on a group drop area see the grid data is grouped based on the column header now let me make a quick summary of what we have seen so far i have shown you how to add a syncfusion grid to a view application we have also seen how to bind local json data to the grid and how to enable few of its features like paging sorting filtering and grouping you can check our documentation link provided in the below description section to learn more about how to get started with our syncfusion view grid you can also post your comments below if you need some additional information about any grid topics thank you for watching this video there are many more features in the syncfusion view grid and my upcoming videos will cover those features please like and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos thank you